Hello, uh, my name is Tarek Shezai and I'm the director of MTS Consulting Engineers. Um, we are an engineering consulting firm and most of our work is producing a full detailed structural design of low to medium size residential and commercial buildings. As a senior design engineer and a director of MTS Consulting Engineers, um, I have been frequently asked by our customers to advise uh, which type of slab is best for their homes. Uh, well, there are two different types of slab system very common in Australia. It's a stiff and rough slab and waffle pot slab. And there has been so much talk in building industry uh, whether someone should have a raft or a waffle pot slab, especially after that incident in Victoria in 2014, where almost 4,300 homes suffered significantly as a result of uh, slab heave. It was reported that thousands of new homes uh, were cracking up in Melbourne's western and northern suburbs, leaving the owners facing financial ruins and long uh, battle to fix them. Most of those homes were built on waffle pot slab system. Not that I'm trying to scare you or saying waffle pot is a bad system. Uh, there is definitely a place for waffle pot slabs in construction world, uh, provided they are designed for a correct site with correct preparation and in non-cyclonic areas. So I think uh, before I advise you to which one is better over another, I better give you some details to give you some understanding of different systems. Um, waffle pot uh, footing is constructed on a leveled ground platform using cardboard or polystyrene pots. Each waffle pot is 1,090 millimeter square, constructed with closed uh, uh, space reps typically um, 110 millimeters. Um, there is no end ground excavation needed. It's basically uh, floats on top of compacted ground. So it's effectively just uh, footing. They are much faster for the concreter. They are much easier for builder. And um, AS2870 even permits 85 mil thickness compared to 100 mil thickness for conventional, uh, conventional rough slab. Um, therefore, they should be cheaper for you, the customer. Waffle slabs works really well on sites that are almost flat, natural soil or controlled fill that have um, good surface strength and where the natural ground surface falls away from the outside of the buildings in all directions. They are not recommended on highly reactive clay sites such as H1 or H2. On sloping blocks, the ground has to be made level um, first by digging out, uh, uh, digging some of it out uh, or filling some of it in. Uh, problems arise when some of the dirt dug out is used as uh, uncontrolled fill on the low side of the block. All houses need uh, firm um, even support to all parts of the slab. It's not recommended for uh, cyclonic areas and eye wind areas because eye wind generates a lot of pressure on roofs which result in some very concentrated forces and modern truss roofs. Uh, just to give you an example, on a regular size 200 meter square house, um, some truss reactions are as much as five tons. Um, in waffle slabs, these forces need to be resisted only by the weight of the footing, um, the footing system, uh, because there is no skin friction with the ground. Uh, five tons of concrete is about two cubic meters of concrete. Um, that's a lot more concrete than is available to resist forces at the truss reaction point. Um, I went uh, force uh, will engage enough of the waffle slabs to resist uh, the force, but not without deflection of the slab. So in a cyclone, uh, be prepared for, you, for your slab to lift and uh, your walls to crack. Um, if you're building uh, in a soft ground condition, extra bolt piers or the screw piers are required so that the system is supported on a strong ground. Um, the footing and slab system for a class E must be designed by a, by a relevantly uh, qualified engineer. Conventional raft footing houses can crack too, so why I don't advocate or like uh, waffle slabs? Um, when the soil brought in as fill around a completed waffle slab house must not be porous. Uh, porous soil allows water to, uh, to seep below the, below the surface and access the ground and a waffle slab. Um, this result in slab heave. Um, unfortunately, builders prefer porous fill because it's easier 
to spread and don't need to be compacted. The pipe trenches that run from under the uh, waffle slab must be graded uh, so that the, any water in the trench runs away from the house. Um, this is rarely done by the builders. Um, if the ground around your house gets eroded or washed away, you can see under a waffle slab. If you can see under the slab, so can vernum, toads, snakes, and other wildlife seeking shelter under your floor. Uh, ground preparation must be immaculate. It must be immaculate on day one and must be kept immaculate forever by the owner. If you are doing fill, get a fill certification. You must not over, uh, overwater the ground near your house. Build up the ground around your house. Uh, allow surface water to run towards your house. Now, um, a stiffened raft uh, consists of a concrete slab on ground stiffened by in-ground integral edge beams and a grid of internal beams. The floor slab is placed at the same time as uh, the external and internal beams, all of which are reinforced. So basically, we take an excavator and make some trenches, then effectively fill them with reinforced concrete. And this gives us a nice stiff platform. Uh, for highly reactive soil, stiffened raft slab along with some board piers is a good system. My advice is uh, you should invest within the slab system. I know it's not pretty, but I believe you should really put your money into the ground. Um, I've also been asked that uh, how is the weight of the house um, is supported between these two different kinds of slabs. Uh, with raft slab, you can have internal load uh, load bearing walls and uh, with waffle pot system most of the loads is uh, going on outside um, outside walls thank you